Hey guys, what is going on? It is Dunbar Snack Bar here with something a little bit different. I mean, those of you who follow me on Facebook, Twitter, um, all that stuff, you guys know that I was kind of excited today because it marks the 150th anniversary of the Battle of Antietam, which is uh, from the American Civil War. So I was like, you know what? It'd be kind of cool for us to go ahead and play some Empire Total War with the Civil War mod. Uh, now we're doing two versus two. I was doing generals out of the Battle of Antietam. So I'm playing as McClellan and as McClellan. I'm obviously not going to be attacking or anything like that. Um, and I got General Meade as the uh, other, as my ally here. He's the other computer opponent. Going up against Robert E. Lee and Stonewall Jackson. Uh, I made it so we're, we're even with the type of units that we have. Um, I've got three pieces of artillery, my ally has three pieces of artillery, and both opposing armies have three as well. Two cavalry, um, two special units, and then it's just all the rest infantry. Uh, balance between volunteer and just uh, standard infantry for the line. So, um, Of course I'm going to be putting my toughest guys up at the front, and I'm going to use the volunteer infantry on the flanks. And then also as reserves, here's General Meade's army. They're in blue. And obviously you can see the Confederates here. They're lining up. And I gotta really be concerned here because I don't know how this is all going to play out. So I'm gonna just go ahead and defend my part here. And the computer can do, gosh, whatever they wanna do. Because if this turns out like any of the other battles that I do, which is two versus two, means that uh, I'm going to be the one who has to basically fight everybody off because the computer basically has no strategy whatsoever. They just get all their guys together and just launch something at the at the uh, computer here. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to dismount my cavalry. I did choose to go with um, the uh, cannons uh, carried by horse, so horse artillery. Um, just because, ooh, so they got the first shot off. They're already attacking my artillery. Dang it. I gotta move my cavalry back. Because the biggest cavalry weakness is artillery. And I'm probably gonna have to move McClellan over here too, which means he's not gonna really have a big influence. But, um, like I was saying, I chose to go with horse artillery because if I do have to move around, they are the fastest. So I'm gonna try and counter the Confederate artillery first. So all my batteries are going to be launching it against them. There's Robert E. Lee. So I'm going up against Robert E. Lee's army. Um, now the thing is though is I may change my artillery at different points to try and soften up the Confederate infantry before they actually hit my line. But I am spread out pretty far which is actually a good thing to be spread out like this. Um, because the way that it's all set up here, uh, do I want to go over here? I don't think so. I'm going to wait and see what happens. Um, but, um, gosh, I can't remember what I was going to say now. I may soften up the Confederate infantry, though. That's the last thing I remember saying. It is late, and I really wasn't planning on doing this, but this is what you guys wanted to see. Now, Stonewall Jackson's trying to take me on so there we go opening fire we only take down three horses now they're charging with their cavalry I have my cavalry back here I did dang it that's right I had to move them shoot there they are I had them behind that hill too so that way any incoming uh, cannonballs wouldn't hit them here but why is he still going after me? That is not the smartest move by Stonewall Jackson. Anyway, so main line is engaged. The Confederates kind of uh, massing together here, and it looks like a lot of them are actually headed my way. So, oh, come on. If I can kill Stonewall Jackson, dang it, now I'm being flanked by cavalry too. I didn't see that one either. Those guys are just holding their ground and they're not uh, actually giving any orders to open fire. My one's in reserve, so I'm going to unlock that and I'm also going to send my cavalry 
on a charge. We're going to hit him at the flank, too. Up ah, there goes Stonewall Jackson. So that means Stonewall, uh, Stonewall Jackson's army on the left. So where my where George Meade is facing off against him, they're going to retreat a lot quicker, which means if I can hold these guys, then eventually they'll be able to come in and support me. So now it's just a matter of watching this line. See, they've got really four regiments over there. I'm going to have to move these guys down. These guys were supposed to cover the middle, but I'm going to need them on the end. I have to get, have them get there quickly, too. So I changed uh, where my artillery is firing. They're concentrating on the center because what I'm going to try to do is if I can get the right part. Uh, there we go. If I can get the right part solidified, then I'm just going to come around like a hinge. Uh, and go ahead and hit the Confederates from two sides. So finally got them to retreat here. But look, one, two, three, four, five, six active regiments right there against uh, three of mine. If you include my cavalry, and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pull them out right here. I wonder where those reserve forces I had are. There they are. They're finally coming. I better hurry up down there, too. I've got them running. All right, so now we're able to get rid of that cavalry regiment. I'm going to send these guys back in reserve. There's no point having my cavalry just right there on the line. I could dismount them, but I don't think that's the most intuitive. Now, this is the biggest problem on the entire map right now is this uh, these six regiments right here. Now, it looks like that they're going to go ahead and they're going to try and attack me here, but it looks like... Meade has got a couple regiments in the way, which works for me because while they're engaged, I'm going to be able to open fire on them and weaken them considerably. So when they do eventually hit me, I should be online and ready to counter them. You know what? I'm kind of nervous because I have my artillery firing on these guys, but it's really close to my own guys as well. I mean, ugh. I could lose a lot of my guys pretty quick. See what I mean? On the left side, it's just they're all fighting hand-to-hand -hand at, like, super close range. I don't think that's the smartest call. I think this side's taking a lot longer than I was anticipating. I'm going to go ahead and bring the reserves up to the front. See if I can get two regiments to shoot them. Now, the thing that's tough, too, is won't necessarily be the strongest fighting here out of them. So I'm kind of worried though, if Meade breaks, I'm gonna be flanked on the left side, which is why I'm still keeping my reserves over there just in case. Now I decided to charge with those reserve regiments that I had brought over from the center. And I'm gonna bring my cavalry in here as well. Decided to make my artillery try and counter theirs. Cause I see that they're on the move, so now is the best time. Now I'm shooting grape shot at them too. Um, as well as some other different types of ammunition rather than just the cannonball because the cannonball is great for distance um, but when people get closer I mean you've got shrapnel shot uh, grape shot things like that but canisters, canister shots as well but I think I'm actually running shrapnel shot right now anyway there's still holding their ground. I gotta give them props. I think part of it though is if you look at the terrain, they've got a little protection. Especially against my reserve units. But the fact that they're shooting at them really hurts their morale. So we've still got some Confederate infantry on retreat. You can see their artillery is trying to go ahead and hit me on the left flank, trying to soften me up. And now that I've got them on the retreat, I'm going to go ahead and pull my guys back. I'm not going to run after them. And this is looking very, very promising. The fact that Stonewall Jackson went out very, very early, uh, I think is what is sealing the deal for me here because now with mass, uh, mass retreats here from the Confederates, he goes ahead and influences everybody else to want to retreat as well. So my main line is relatively in the clear. So let's see how this plays out on the left side. I'm just going to try and get as many guys, though, as they retreat. 
Because the thing is, is they still can come back if somebody can rally them. Gosh, there they go. Finally, they start to retreat here. I've got one regiment that's actually active against me. Uh, a couple artillery units, which I'm taking out here just a little bit at a time. But I don't think there's any infantry units except that one that I've got to worry about. So let's take a look at that pocket over here. This is going to be the last group. You can see Meade is completely on the offensive. That's kind of nice. I held my ground. That's all I was expected of me here. So I'm going to send my cavalry to go after that artillery. And then I might start opening up on that side too. Where is General Lee? I don't know, but now they're on retreat, so I guess I don't have to worry so much about my cavalry. Oh, there he is up there at the top. I'll kind of zoom in on him here in just a second. So a couple artillery batteries protected by Robert E. Lee. Now Meade's infantry, I guess, is lining up. That scared the crap out of him. So that artillery is going to be retreating, and now all that's left is General Lee. So let's go ahead. I'm going to bring my cavalry in. They were charging that artillery battery. They're not too far away. Where are they? I don't know what General Lee's trying to do right now. He plans on taking us all on, but now that his flag is blinking, that means he's considering retreating. And there he goes. We routed him. And now my cavalry makes it just in time. Oh, we got Robert E. Lee right at the end. Wow. So that was a big Union victory. Like I said, with the loss of Stonewall right at the beginning, I think that's what got it for us here. But um, if you guys like this, let me know. Because I've actually gotten back into Empire Total War, especially with everything that's going on with the Civil War. The 150 uh, years of stuff as it happens. Like next year we'll have Gettysburg. That'll be kind of cool. And, and this mod has some cool Civil War maps that I like playing. So if you guys want to see more, let me know. But you guys are awesome. I hope you know that. Um, I definitely appreciate it. Subscribe if you haven't already. I know this is something different than what I normally do, but this is a lot of fun. Um, you guys can follow me on Facebook, Twitter. My gosh, I just killed my own men. But anyway, thanks again. And as always, I hope you guys have a good one.